Roanoke City leaders are working to prioritize street projects in downtown Roanoke. Today, the public can comment on what needs to be changed. Jade Hansen is live from the municipal building in downtown. Jade, what will today's feedback be used for? Well, Tara, city planners are going to use today's feedback to help them develop a new long-range plan. That plan will be used to set goals for new street projects here in downtown Roanoke for the next 10 years. The last long-range plan was created in 2002. Since that time, a lot has changed. There's been a lot of revitalization in downtown, and that's why city planners say it's now important to consider street changes to accommodate that growth. And one of the biggest projects up for discussion is the conversion of Church Avenue from a one-way street to a two-way. Planners say the change would likely slow down traffic, allowing drivers and passengers more time to see what downtown stores have to offer and possibly making the downtown more safe for pedestrians. As for the negatives, parking spaces would be lost. Some people told me off camera they feel this would be a great change. Others, however, say they're against it. It would um, eliminate a lot of parking that seems necessary for downtown because there seems to be too little parking downtown as it is. I think they should leave it as a one-way street for traffic and I also believe that when they used to have Salem and Campbell Avenue um, one way it was easier to get around Roanoke and a lot less traffic confusion. Changing other streets downtown that are one way, like Kirk, Luck, and First Street, will also be discussed tonight, as well as improvements to Jefferson Avenue between Elm and Walnut. Again, Tara, people can give their feedback on all of those projects tonight at the meeting happening here at the municipal building. It will run from 4 until 7. In Roanoke, Jade Hansen reporting for the Fox 2127 Morning News.